prior to master switch removal, you will need to ensure the knobs are in the off position, the gas supply to your grill is turned off, the master switch is off, and the power supply is disconnected. Then remove the control panel. For complete step-by-step -step instructions, pause this video, exit full screen mode if enabled, then click the control panel removal button found below. Once the control panel is removed, locate the master switch on the right side of the exposed control panel. Disconnect the master switch wire harness. From the inside of the control panel, use pliers or an open-ended wrench to loosen the nut that is securing the master switch in place. Use your hand to completely remove the nut. Then remove the master switch. Your grill may have a knockout around the now exposed master switch opening. If so, use your fingers or a tool to completely remove the knockout. If not, proceed to the following step. Ensuring the O-ring is flat against the master switch, insert the new master switch into the opening. Using the nut provided with your new master switch, hand tighten the switch in place. Use pliers or an open and wrench to secure. Connect the wire harness. Connect the power supply and test your new master switch prior to replacing the control panel. To replace the control panel, set the control panel back over the front lip of the grill, being sure that the lid closed sensor protrudes through the hole on the upper right of the control panel. Replace the screws. Replace the smoker drawer and drip tray. Replace the lighted bezels and control knobs. With the knobs in the off position, turn on the gas supply.